For this unit, we will be looking at percentages. Now, before we begin this unit, everybody needs to be aware that you need to have a calculator in your possession. For this class, we use Casio FX 991ES. You can pick it up from the local library. It costs 80 dirhams from the HCT library, or if you go to Carrefour, it will cost you 50 dirhams. Either way, this is the calculator that we'll use, so you need to be aware and make sure that you purchase this. So let's go ahead and begin. For this unit, you'll be studying exactly what a percentage is, converting between percentage, fraction, and decimal, which is what we'll be doing today. Simple percentage word problems, and then looking at percentage calculations involving rate, applications of those percentages, and then starting to talk about changing the amounts and how that changes in percentage. So let's start off. What is a percentage? Well, a percentage just means over 100. If we look, per cent. Per means division in mathematics, and cent stands for 100. Therefore, it is a fraction or a division of 100. For example, you got 93% in your last math test. Another way we could write this is you got 93 out of 100. Pretty easy. Your company made 15% profit in sales more than last year. Another way to write that would be 15 over 100. Now this can be simplified further and we will be exploring how we do that a little later on. 25% means 25 out of 100. So how would we write this? That's correct. 25 divided by 100. All that percentage is is per 100 or divided by 100. So now let's start exploring. There are three main conversions for percentage. You have percentage at the top, you have fraction, and you have decimal. Now we're going to start converting. To make a decimal into a percent, all you have to do is multiply that number by 100. It's pretty easy. To make a percent into a fraction, you have to divide that number by 100. And to make a fraction into a decimal, what do you need to do? You need to divide the numerator, which is the number on top, by the denominator. So let's actually try a quick problem. We're going to look at the problem we just talked about simplifying further, which was 15%. Okay, so 15 percent, right? Okay, what do you do to make it into a fraction? Perfect, you divide by 100. So we're going to put 15 over 100. Now this can be simplified further, and in order to do this, you need to use your calculator. So we're actually going to do that. We're going to say 15, and then this button right here is the fraction button. So you're going to hit the button and immediately it makes this into a fraction over 100. Now when you hit equals, the answer that you get will naturally be in a fraction if you use the fraction button. So 15 over 100 equals 3 over 20. Now, which is the numerator and which is the denominator? 
The numerator is the number on top. The denominator is the number on bottom. So in order to convert to a decimal, we need to take the numerator and divide by the denominator. Now another thing you can do on the calculator is you can hit this button. Do you see where it says S to D? Okay, that stands for standard to decimal. So by hitting this button, it will make that 3 over 20 into 0 0.15, which is what the decimal is. 0 0.15. And lastly, to convert this 0 0.15 into a percent, we should multiply by 100. So we multiply by 100 and we get 15 percent. Let's go ahead and do one more problem. Let's look at 25 percent. Okay, now with 25 percent, we're going to actually use the calculator the whole time for this. We're not going to be writing very much down except our answers. Now, where do we find the percent button on the calculator? Right here. Do you see this little yellow percent button? So what we're going to do is we're going to use that. To get to that yellow percent button, you need to hit shift and parentheses. So we're going to put that in. 25 shift, so the little s comes up, and then close parentheses, or sorry, open parentheses and you'll get the percent. You hit equals and immediately it gives you the equivalent fraction. Now in order to make the fraction into a decimal you hit the SD button and it gives you 0 0.25 percent fraction decimal and how to convert between. So let's actually try some. We want to convert three-fifths to a percentage. Okay, how do we do that? We start with the fraction button. Three, fraction, five, three-fifths. And it comes up with three-fifths. It is already as low as it goes. So in order to make it into a percentage, we need to make it into a decimal by hitting this button, which is 0 0.6, and then multiply by 100. When you hit the multiply, you see this A and S comes up. Don't worry, that just means your previous answer. So to convert 3 fifths to a percentage, that would be 60, and don't forget your percent sign. Okay, so now let's look at something a little bit more difficult. 8 and 7 over 13. Now, so far we've just looked at this fraction button, but to make a mixed number is a little more difficult. You need to hit shift fraction. And now you see it comes up with a box for the whole number, a box for the numerator, and a box for the denominator. 8, we're going to move over and it goes immediately to the numerator. 7, go down, 13. So we have 8 and 7 thirteenths just like that. We hit equals and it comes up with an improper fraction. This is perfectly okay. We're going to make it into a decimal by hitting the SD button. We get a very long decimal. We only want it as a percentage so we're not going to mess with any decimals. We're going to multiply by 100, hit the SD button again, and we get 853.8. Now because we're not going to have any decimals, this 0.8 makes the 3 round up to 4. So 854 percent. Okay, so let's do 3 and 1 fifth. The first thing that we do when we have a mixed number like this is to make it a mixed number. So we hit shift fraction to make a mixed number. three. 1, 5, and it comes up with an improper fraction. Once again, this is okay. We hit the SD, 3.2, multiply by 100, and we get 320%.
I would like you to try these remaining five problems on your own in the next few slides to see if you truly understand. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is to convert the following percentages into fractions. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is to convert the following percentages into fractions, whole or mixed numbers in simplest form. So now we're going to convert from a percentage into a fraction. For this, we're mainly going to be using this percent sign on the calculator. So let's start. 35, and we have to hit shift open parentheses to give us our percent, and that immediately makes it into 7 over 20. So we'll write that down. And that's all you have to do. 15%. Okay, well we did this one earlier, but let's just refresh our mind. 15 shift percent. And that's 3 over 20. Okay, now this is where we, it gets a little more difficult because you have two possible choices. 175 shift percent gives us 7 over 4, and that is an acceptable answer. However, on the test and on your homework, it might ask for a, it might ask for a mixed number. Therefore, you see where it, it, the SD button is? We're going to hit shift SD and that will make it from a improper fraction to a mixed number, or one and three quarters. Okay, 400% is the same story. Two possible answers. 400%, ah, that is simply four. That's all we have to do. 340%, is 17 over 5. We hit shift SD to get 3 and 2 fifths. I'm going to let you do the remaining 3 on your own in the next slides. Okay, the last thing we're going to do is converting decimals to percentages. To convert a decimal into a percentage, all you need to do is multiply by 100. So we'll start. 0 0.65 times 100 is 65. All that we need to do now is put the percentage sign. Okay, let's do another one. 1 1.5 times 100 is 150%. Okay, let's try this one down here. We'll leave this one for you to work on and this one for you to work on. 0 0.255 multiplied by 100. We have a fraction. In order to make this fraction into a decimal, you hit this button and we get 25.5%. If we had to round it to the nearest percent, it would be rounded as 26% because the 5 makes the other 5 round 